I'm from China Tournament. We are mobile game developers based in Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam. And uh, today I uh, we would like to uh, introduce a bit, a little bit about the process, how we develop our first game, a uh, shooting game for mobile devices. We are, uh, this is like, Cat and Chai is one kind of like the first uh, online shooting game for mobile devices uh, in Asia. And uh, we are an indie developer, so uh, we developed the title like two years ago. And uh, after one year, we, we released it uh, in Vietnam first, then we released, re released it in uh, Thailand, in, uh, uh, in, uh, and we are going to launch it in China at uh, end of this month. And uh, first of all, uh, I would like to uh, uh, open the, the trailer. Go, go, go! Captain Chai is like a uh, third person shooter uh, for mobile device and we, uh, we develop it by our own game engines. And uh, here is uh, some numbers and some information about the title. It's a cross-platform game. Uh, we develop it for iOS and Android at the same time. And it's based on our in-house uh, 3D game engine. Uh, so far, we have more than 1.2 million users in Vietnam, and we have more than uh, we have nearly 3 million users in Soviet Asia. Uh, the pit uh, they are used is uh, around uh, 80,000. The average session for one one section is uh, uh, nearly half of hour, and we will release in China end of this month. Uh, I will talk about uh, the game engine that we use first. Uh, it's, a, it's an in-house game engine, and uh, it's, it's, it's a modified version of uh, Elite Engine, which is like an open source game engine in the market. And uh, it's, it's optimized for mobile devices. And we use C++ for, to program the game. And uh, the best thing about our game engine is uh, this that's the performance. Uh, it even could run in the smartwatch. I will show you. They are sour, but I don't know why. Doesn't play. Okay. So during the, the project, what went right? The engine is free because we develop it based on uh, based on an open source uh, uh, 3D uh, engine, and it has uh, a good performance. Uh, at the uh, the beginning, we we met some like. Uh, testing and it has around like thirty percent uh, performance better than Unity Four. Uh, it's flexible because uh, that's our game engine. We can modify, we can improve, we can change, we can adapt uh, anything we like. And uh, programmers master it because our programmers uh, we mostly come from game love and we use C++ to develop the games before. So. Uh, we understand uh, the, the engine quite well. And the disadvantage is uh, the engine costs 
like developers to develop the the engine to improve it and to fix the uh, the issue caused by the the engine and it costs more time to develop the the game because uh, for unity for unreal you you have a good editor you have many plugins to support you to develop the game but for our own game engine we have to develop the whole things and it's hard for the new members like in vietnam the new generation game programmers uh, only few of them can program c++ well uh, because in the school now nowadays they only teach like they focus on uh, java and c, c sharp so it's very hard for, for us to find a good uh, c++ programmer at the moment so how we solve the problems the first thing uh, my uh, experience is like we should pick a, a commercial a commercial engine because uh, now the performance of Unity is much better than before and Unreal they, they, they support mobile version as well and there are many many free engines in the market and the, com uh, and the community is quite big and uh, as uh, and in the, we should pick the free version because now uh, almost the, uh, the engine in the market they have the free version for the, the individuals and like my recommendation is uh, uh, we should uh, as at us we uh, switch to uh, Unity for the second title and if uh, indie developers uh, you want to develop kind of high quality games uh, you can consider to use Unreal and here is our back-end and uh, in-house tools. Uh, for back-end system, we also develop uh, by ourselves uh, at, uh, from, from the beginning. Uh, at that time, uh, when we set up the company, we don't have any back-end programmers. So my founder, they have to study in the internet. They have to uh, try to Google, try to uh, research from all the developers to set up our own one and of course it's free and flexible uh, uh, almost uh, the, the um, commercial but end system in uh, the market they they provide you many features but uh, it, uh, and in the developer we only only need some of them so um, that's why we decide to develop our own one and uh, it can handle some specific uh, requests, especially for MMO games, for online games. And uh, I think it's quite strong because like um, in Vietnam, uh, only online games can, like, can uh, earn the money at the moment. So the user play a casual game a lot, but they, they don't pay. And uh, MMO game, are very popular in Vietnam at the moment. And of course, it's called developers to develop the tools. And it's a uh, lack of some like, important feature uh, at the beginning, like uh, some like real-time check-in, some like filter, uh, deep filter. And it has many bugs uh, because like we, we didn't have any experience to work on back end before so we have to learn from Google we have to like learn from Vail from Dota 2 and some document they say and it has many work our lesson uh, are we should you uh, we should use free analytic tool in the market because it reduces a lot of time to develop the tools and to maintain them uh, but uh, for online game, uh, we have to build uh, our own like administration tool because uh, in the market it's very hard to find a good one that fit your need. And we still continuously improve our tool. It's like version uh, until now. Here's some uh, good back end service and analytic tools in the market. The next topic is about the monetization. Um, at the beginning, we have only uh, some basic uh, feature for monetization, like we have in-app purchase, 
we have just seven sets of items like weapon, armor, uh, and like uh, the uh, si signatures. And we follow closely the you know, one popular title in Vietnam that is like Rod 5 PC version. And we, we try to adapt some features, some modernization way from that game. And we didn't have any advertising in our game. The good things are like we have a good balanced game. Until now, users still play a lot after two years. And they, they really love the game. We have an eSport ready game because it's too balanced. So even you buy the best item, the best weapon in the game, uh, it doesn't mean you can win uh, the game because some some go to some pro players they just use the basic uh, set of item and they they can easily kill the the rest of players because they have a higher skill and we don't have the head that to like uh, how to uh, add the deep feature to the game uh, how to uh, earn more money from this player and the disadvantage uh, like the gamers, they only buy the best set of item in the game. For example, I am uh, I only play the, the sniper, so I buy only the best sniper gun in the game. That's all. And there is no reason that I buy the like rifle gun, the shotgun. There is no reason. And some VIP uh, gamers, they buy everything within the first week. We release the game, so they buy everything. There's no nothing for them to buy. And after they they, they buy uh, everything, they ask us to uh, add more uh, contents to the game, like new weapon, new uh, new guns. But because we we just a small team at that time, we started five. We started the the, the project just five uh, people, and uh, we raised up to like. 12, but we can't update the content like quickly and how we solve the problems. We learned a lot of lessons from, from uh, Chinese and Korean developers, especially monetization. They, they, they have many good ways to monetize the, the shooting game. Uh, as you may know, uh, there are some shooting games in China, they rank at the top Russian game, and I think uh, shooting game is one of the hardest game to monetize uh, at a premium game, because if you match it to, like, if you add uh, the weapon too powerful, it will break the balancing of the game. And uh, we add the gacha to the, the game, and this improves a lot of monetization. The revenue, the revenue boot uh, like three times be, uh, than before. And we, uh, we learned uh, one lesson from crossfires in Vietnam. Uh, before, they, they just let users buy the item like permanent, permanently. And, um, but after the user buy it, they, they don't have any reason to, to, to buy any other uh, item again. So we let them rent the item for the specific days, for example, one day, three day, seven day, or one month. And after the item expire, they have to rent again. And we add more consumable items to the game, like some booster, like double experience, double um, uh, add more damage, or add the shield to, to the the, the armor, and we captured at the upgrade system to the game. Like you, you, uh, you can upgrade the weapon from level one to level two, and when you reach level ten, you can raise up to have more powerful uh, weapon. So one user they have the best gun in the, the game, but they have to upgrade if they, they, they want to to have better weapon. And we, we have just add rewarded video to the game to uh, monetize the user who don't pay. 
And one of the big questions for indie developers like how they uh, finance in, uh, the project or how they find the publisher, we, we uh, experience the problems as well. Uh, first, we have to do the self-funding. Like my mom is the big investor for, for, for my company. And we work with some local publisher like closely uh, uh, so that they can uh, give the feedback and, they, uh, uh, and they, they love the game and they publish the game. And so far, we, we have, stood, uh, have published the, the shooting game in Vietnam, Thailand, and China. So we had publisher before the game published. I remember the, that day that we just had the symbol demo, one character run in a boss and use just one handgun and shoot. There is no online feature, there is no UI. But they, they still believe, uh, they su still trust us and they, they buy the license. And we have a little bit of gas to continue the project. Uh, and we got useful feedback from them because they understand the market, they understand their user. And we survive at least until now. And because we don't have ex uh, uh, external in investment, so sometimes we run out of gas, we sold everything, house, land, and we borrow anyone we can. And uh, because of that project took long, longer than we expected. It cost one year for my, the, the shooting game, and it cost two years for, for my second game. And we, we could not uh, pick the investor. We just pick anyone who love our game and will pay, really pay for our game. Okay, that's uh, my lesson we, when we start, uh, when we finish the first project, and we are going to run the second project, which is an RPC plus mobile plus strategy game. Uh, this month, that's the We Are Heroes, so hope that we will have better, successful, better success with uh, this title. Thank you, thank you very much.